What am I even looking at? How did I not know about this game? And there are six of them! And we're all made in the same year! Okay, so when I was first told about Garten of Banban, I had a few questions, such as, why is this green guy the face of the first game when he only appears for three seconds? Why does this bird go through the wall? Why do they have such lazy merchandise? What is a Garten? Garden of Ban Ban, apparently, is a game released by the people called the Euphoric Brothers. It was launched January 2023. Yes, I realize I'm a little late to the party. And I started doing a little more research on this game after I was told. As I dove more into what Garden of Ban Ban was, I realized why people called it a Poppy Playtime knockoff and how the bird up meme came to be. I realized that this game is an actual menace to society. Like, what are these graphics, and what is this story, and what are these names? We're so down to win okay, today I'll be going through the first ever Garten of Ban Ban game. Yes, again, I realize I'm very late to the party, but I'm just finding out about this atrocity. If you guys like me reviewing Garten of Bad Ban, then let me know if I should review the second one, and maybe all six. I don't know about that, but what So, happened? let's check out Garden of Ban Ban 1 to see if it is a ride or die. Alright, so Garden of Ban Ban, well, what is there to say? Not too much because this game is like 5 minutes. You first start off in what is supposed to look like a kindergarten, but looks like a warehouse where a kidnapper puts children. I mean, it looks like a kindergarten on the budget of $3 and an old Snickers bar I'd find at the bottom of my backpack. So after you play around with the physics, you find a drone. And oh, this drone. This drone feels like it was made by a guy working the extra late shift with zero coffee breaks and he finds out about the Poppy Playtime grab pack, so he makes one that is flying, slow, and completely incompetent. I absolutely hate this drone. This was absolute pain when I played it. Once you power up the drone with finding batteries in what is supposed to be a cafeteria, you open the door and it is done ever so slowly with this painful drone. And then you are greeted with this. Hello there. Oh, okay, so I should probably mention the characters of this game. Not that they're great. We're introduced to six characters and we only see two. We don't even see the main character. He's introduced in the second chapter. Heck, at least Poppy Chapter 1 introduced Poppy. Okay, so let's quickly go through the characters we are introduced to. We have Green Jamba Juice Boy, Alberto, Bad Band, Girl Bad Band, among Us Man, and Spoodly Oodly Fish. Yeah, they all look like they were drawn by kindergartners. That's either the case, or they made this game, realized they needed characters, and had their five-year-old cousin make them. And name them. These are their actual names, and honestly, I prefer the ones I just made up for them. We got Jumbo Josh, O.P. Bird, Ban Ban, Ban Balina, Captain Fiddles, and Stinger freaking Flynn. Minus the freaking. So once Alberto phases back into the wall, we turn on the lights in this room and, hey, it's Alberto again. So we gotta do an easter egg hunt and the only part of this game that actually feels like an actual game because it makes you think a little bit near the end with a secret keycard panel that activates the last egg to roll down a slide. Also, guess what? We are already at the halfway mark of this game. Congrats to the people who made it this far in the video, and if you're enjoying the vid, please do like and subscribe, and let me know if I should view the second Garden of Ban Ban. Also, I know I'm late to the party with this game, but I seriously did not realize this game existed. Kinda wish I didn't. But anyways, let's get back to the vid. So once you finish shoving all the eggs down Alberto's throat, very slowly, what, what is that sound? You then slowly get a brand new key card that you go to use on this other room to power the a button that your drone has to hit. And then there is the most stupid obstacle on the planet. There is this yellow glass that blocks the button and there is no puzzle, no nothing that gets rid of it. All you have to do is run your drone slowly into it and it breaks. Like this adds nothing to the game. Literally only here to pad up a runtime that is of our an already super short game. Well like the only thing this adds is that you have to click your drone a second time and clearly just here for padding. Can't believe a game that's five minutes needs padding. After you grab the hammer from the door that opens, you then go back to Elberto and break the into the ball pit room. Uh, okay, so, no way this is a ball pit room. Like, what is with the infinite abyss under it? Like, anyways, we have our second 
and last puzzle that makes you use more than two of your brain cells again. All you gotta do is guess the colors of the kindergarten mascots. Throughout the hallways, you can find giant, terrible looking paintings of the mascots saying something like, Sharing is caring, your pancreas is mine? It's kinda clever as you gotta pay attention to the only details of the kindergarten. So, once that's done... Oh. It's Birdo! Ah, uh, yes. El Birdo Hello is there. back. So once you finally realize a button appeared right next to you, you begin a boss fight. Got him. Yeah, it's as bad as it looks. They try to replicate the feeling with the chase with Huggy Wuggy, but they missed it by a long shot. Like, Huggy Wuggy's chasing is probably as long as his whole entire game. Anyways, after we dispose of Elberto, we head out of the so-called ball pit room and unlock another door that leads into the final drone butting pressing puzzle. This drone is actually just a spawn of hell. So once you unlock the elevator, not that it looks like one, and climb in, you descend down. Where Sir Green Jamba Juice dis Hello there. destroys the elevator. What? And that's the end. Yeah, this game is free and it still feels like I got ripped off. What can I say that hasn't already been said? This is a definite die. There are no rides to this game. Garna Ban Ban is not a horror game by any means. I'm not even sure why they put that there. It's not even a puzzle game. There are two, two puzzles. What do you mean this is the next Poppy Playtime? This game has nothing good going for it, except for Alberto. He's kind of cool. Don't play it. I'm sure you already know that, though. Ciao, ciao for now.